Good morning. Uh, please do me a favor. I would like you to uh, invite uh, a couple of other people to join us as uh, we have this conversation centered around tilling the land. I want to welcome you to Ditawa, Ditawa Farm. It's a little cold and windy out here uh, this morning. However, I have a very timely and important message I want to bring to you. Do me a favor by uh, sharing this and inviting other people to join us. I have behind me here a tiller that is being used to till this land. And you may be wondering why brother talk about tilling the land. It's important for your life to be governed by principles than by emotions. I was talking to somebody, a very good friend this morning, and he said, some people want very, very fast results. That in actual fact, there's a church uh, that teaches people that God can make things happen very, very fast, very, very fast. And so people want things to happen without process. We're going to be talking about tilling the land. And we're going to also look at tilling the land figuratively, because some of you are not farmers like me. You may be wondering, I don't have a farm, and I don't know what you're talking about. There is a lot for everybody in here today. Let's go to the book of Proverbs today and learn something that is going to help change your life and change mine. Please, you can share this. Invite other people to join us. <clears throat> Proverbs chapter 28, verse 19 says that, He that healeth his land shall have plenty of bread, but he that followeth after vain persons shall have poverty enough. Do you want plenty of bread? Do you want to escape poverty? Do what? Till the land. Don't follow after vain persons. You know, the people who tell you, if you want to lose weight, just keep eating the way you are eating. Don't exercise. Take this magic pill, and your weight is going to disappear. They are vain, they are deceiving you. You have to make some changes. You have to put in some work if you want results. The proverb says, if you till your land, you are going to have plenty of bread. Now, when you hear the word till and bread, there is a lot in between. In actual fact, when you think about bread, which is the end product, in between you and bread is tilling the land, is planting, is weeding, is harvesting, and is actually baking the bread. In actual fact, what I'm saying is this. In between what you desire and the outcome is something we call process, process, process. Most of us are very good at desiring what we want. However, 
We don't care about the process. We don't care about preparation. We don't care about positioning. You must understand process. It's very, very important. Whatever you desire in life, you need to ask yourself, how am I going to get it? What is it going to take for me to get the outcome that I want? Please, if you neglect the process, if you neglect paying the price, putting in the time, putting in the work, you are deceiving yourself. A lot of us pray, however, we don't understand process, we don't have any strategy. You think God is going to come down from heaven and plow the land for you? It is on you. Don't plow. Poverty will be your lot. Don't plow. Poverty will be what you're going to reap. However, if you plow the land, plant it, you are going to reap. Plenty of bread, plenty of bread. Another translation puts it this way. Hard work brings prosperity. Hard work brings prosperity. Playing around brings poverty. Wow, I like this translation. Hard work is going to bring prosperity, but if you play around, you will be poor. Are you playing around? Are you known for being a hard worker? Do you work hard? I mean, putting in the time, the energy to work on your marriage? Or you just pray and hope things will work out? You need to work hard on your health. You need to work hard on your finances. You need to work hard on your relationships. You need to work hard on your career. You need to work hard on your business. Don't just get up in the day and waste the day without putting in hard work. Yes, work hard, work smart. Work hard. Another translation says, whoever works his land we have plenty to eat. Are you walking your land? If you don't have physical land, are you walking your health? Are you walking your finances? Are you walking your relationships? Are you walking your career? <laughs> what books are you reading to develop your mind? You know, the Bible says, be you transformed by the renewal of your mind. That is where change takes place. You start by changing your mind. You need to read. Read every day. You need to read. Having a degree is not enough. What books are you reading? Books on finance. Books on relationships. Books on money. Books on crypto. What are you reading? Or oh, you use emotions. to argue all the time. You need to be reading. I challenge you, I dare you. If you're not reading, you should. I've written quite a bunch of books. May I start with my books, go on Amazon, type Eric Tangumonkam. A bunch of books will come up. If you don't want to read my own books, get other people's books. There are millions of books. In fact, the United States alone produces a million books every year. There are lots of books. Read, read, cultivate. Another translation said, he who cultivates his land will have plenty of bread. But he who follows worthless people and pursuits will have poverty enough. Cultivate your land. Cultivate your mind. Fill your mind with the right information. Fill your mind with the right ideas. 
You've been created in God's image and likeness. Believe God's report about you. God wants you to prosper. But I'm not talking about naming it and claiming, claiming, naming and claiming. No. You walk the land. You cultivate yourself. You read, you study to show yourself a proof. A workman who is worthy of his meat. You have to study. You have to execute. You have to get your hands dirty. Whatever you've been called to do, you need to get behind it. Don't be lazy. Laziness brings poverty. Laziness brings lack. Hard work is going to make you prosper. It's going to bring you plenty. You see this land? It's being plowed. We're going to sow. You're going to watch it grow. You're going to reap a harvest very soon. Stop pursuing worthless people. People who tell you what you want to hear. People who flatter you. People who lie to you. People who take advantage of you. People who don't have their best interests at heart. Stop following them. People who tell you half truths. Stop following them. You're wasting your time. Evaluate your life. If you're not making progress, maybe it's time to dissociate yourself from certain people. Another translation says, work hard. Yes, work hard. And you have a lot of food. Waste time. And you have a lot of trouble. Yes, we are on social media right now. You are watching me on social media. However, don't be distracted by social media. Don't be a, an information junkie. You are watching from TikTok to Instagram to Facebook to YouTube to Rumble and back to Twitter to TikTok. You keep gathering information and telling yourself that, oh, I'm just, you know, I'm getting better. You're not getting better. You learn by walking. You learn by cultivating. Start applying all the information you've been gathering. Start using it. That is what you're actually going to learn. If you just believe that learning is only to be absorbing information that are deceiving yourself. Don't waste time. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Once in a while, watch funny cat videos or people goofing around and laugh, but you cannot invest your whole life like that. It's not going to bring you any return. How many hours do you spend watching TV? I didn't say TV is bad. Instead of reading, some of us cannot read for 30 minutes. Yet we can sit down and watch and binge on different TV series or programs for hours upon hours. No wonder you are poor. You are not working. You cannot get up on a, on a day and you don't put yourself to work. You don't have anything to show at the end of the day. Tilt your land. Tilt your land. Cultivate your land. A job is good, but it's not good enough. Find your land. Find your thing and invest yourself in it. All of us have different gifts and talents. I want you to find yours and put in your energy in it. Stop complaining that you're not being paid enough. Find your work. You, will, you have plenty there. Don't blame people. Don't make excuses. Find your thing. Invest yourself in it. And you have great reward in the term. Another translation says, work your garden. You're going to prosper very well. So it says, you're going to end up plenty of food. But play and party. Play and party, you end up with an empty plate. Play and party. A lot of us we party all the time. Every weekend, we are from one party to the other. We want to eat, drink, and dance. According to us, that is all life is about. Eat, 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 eat. Dance, 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 and party. Yet, when it's time to walk, we don't want to show up. We waste time. We just want to eat and party and have fun all the time. Life does not work like that. That is going to bring you what? An empty plate. 
If you don't walk your land and plant, there will be nothing for you to harvest. He who cultivates his land will be satisfied with food, but he who pursues empty things will be satisfied with poverty. A hard-working farmer's farmer has plenty to eat. People who waste time will always be poor. Do you waste time? Is your poverty a result of wasting time? Waste time having conversations that are not productive. Waste time talking to people who are not taking you anywhere. Waste time watching, listening to stuff that is not helping. If you don't have time to listen, why don't you listen to teachings and messages that will build you up? People just sing any type of junk these days just because they're beating some drums and you're wasting your time listening to things like that. How has that helped you? How is that helping you? Cultivate your land. If you have physical land like what I got here, you have figurative land. Cultivate your house. Exercise. Put in the work. Eat right. Make sure you are reading. You are hanging right around the right people. And you're going to have results. Above all, remember, process is very, very, very important. Allow your life to be governed by processes and by principles. If you do that, you're not going to go wrong. Now, let me start on the machine and plow a little bit for you. There you go. You need to get this started. Let's start here. Okay, here you go. All right. Yeah, it's okay to it's okay to work hard. It's okay to uh, get your hands dirty. Make sure you are following principles. Slowly but surely, you're going to get there. Yeah, you can see here how much we've plowed, and uh, the whole place is going to be plowed and planted and. Uh, we are going to make a lot of progress. Thank you for watching. Um, stay tuned for more updates and God bless you. Have a fantastic day.